Hey guys, Mr. Stark here. So as we start to migrate out of motor controls when we start to talk about PLCs, uh, this is an example of a uh, PLC that we use at campus and it's kind of a nice little device and what this allows me to do is be able to plug my computer directly into this and send a program into it and as long as I know the computer language that I'm using in my program I can get this thing to do a variety of cool things and right now it looks a little funky because we got all these lights in here we're showing this off because it's kind of a cool enclosure and uh, the circuit that this thing actually operates looks different than the ladder logic it's actually right here so what you're looking at is the PLC itself and the terminal strips that are in the box and the labeling that's actually on the PLC and if you look at the second row down it says 24 volts and then I've got uh, 0 volt which is my ground I got a common and then I've got I0.0 I0.1.2 all the way up to dot eight. then on the bottom I got Q's uh, those are my inputs and outputs I stands for input Q stands for output and what this really is is I'm telling the computer what to do through my inputs and outputs. The terminal strip on the bottom goes to these lights that we have wired in here. And I got a simple start stop in the top that controls it. This is the wiring of the PLC. This picture you're not going to be able to see as well, but up on that wall is the logic of the computer program. So for me to get this circuit that I'm going to show you what it is in a second to work, it has to be put into the computer looking like this. A bunch of open contacts and different timers and lights. and Basically, that's what the computer sees. And if the computer sees what it wants to see, it makes the circuit work that's up here on the wall. What you're looking at is a bunch of hard hats with a, kind of a homemade lamp holder. And it's a display for different types of lamps that we use in the field. And right now, you can see that there's a lamp on, on the, on the P, and if you scroll all the way down, as these things sequence, the P comes on with the C. This actually says Porter and Chester. If I stand all the way back, I've got the O on for a permanent night light, and it says Porter Chester. Basically, it's some cool conduit bending skills with hard hats on top, and. What's under the hard hat are different types of lamps that we use in our trade. If you kind of go all the way down here, and it's a sequencing circuit. So we scroll down here, I got the H on the night light, and then the E goes on with the corresponding R. So if you could think of how this is timed, Porter Chester, the P comes on with the C, the O comes on with the H, so on and so forth. And it just goes down there. I think the time is like whatever, five, ten seconds. And it slowly scrolls all the way down the stream of lights and then works itself back and repeats itself. Pretty cool thing and uh, all worked on by the PLC based on the program that we want to put into it. And once again, that could be changed. It could be modified. But this is one example of kind of the fun things that you can do uh, with the PLC. Another example why we use PLCs, you know, we go back to the simple stoplight circuit. So, got a real stoplight, and what I did was I put this old PLC into an enclosure, and you can see the lights that are on there, and it's just kind of going through red, yellow, green, or whatever, uh, green, yellow, red, and you can kind of see that this is taking a kind of a basic stoplight circuit. Here's the logic that the computer needs to see for this program, a little bit different than the other one. Uh, if you were to wire it with relays, that's what it looks like. So a lot more wiring going on. And if you wire the PLC, that's what that would look like. So pretty cool stuff. And, uh, you know, just a matter of how much you want, how far you want to take it. So, <clears throat> with that being said, since we're on here, it's another kind of a
cool picture of some conduit. I know these guys haven't been here in a while, probably missed this, so they'll get to see, you know, some cool projects. Nice conduit run. We bend conduit all the time and we, you know, enjoy it. To come down here, got more conduit displays that come all the way down here. Uh, Luke and Riggs, Luke and Antonio uh, took what was on paper and with a little bit of help, they were able to get this thing all piped up. Pretty cool. And then we had an old street light that we put up here for fun, which is uh, kind of cool. So anyway, hope that you enjoy that and we'll see you at the next video.